So my welcome to all of you. Uh, the purpose of um, this interaction uh, with uh, press and media is to uh, clearly talk about uh, the why, why are we class exists, what is the purpose, and you heard uh, uh, Jamra talk about it very briefly, you saw some clippings. Um, the objective is to um, support senior citizens and people above the age of 60, which is about today 60, 70 million people growing very rapidly and will soon probably reach 200 plus million in the next 20 years. So it will be a significant part of the population. And we felt that uh, we needed to create a member-driven organization. So this is actually a member-driven organization. Uh, the people uh, who will run this organization, who will be part of the board, are senior citizens elected from within the membership. Um, and that is how we see this organization growing across the country. Vaya Vikas uh, will provide services directly or through our partners. These services are uh, organizing events and social uh, supporting social causes, bringing awareness uh, through. Uh uh, first of all, I want to thank Chris and all my colleague board members for creating this wonderful institution. This is the need of the hour. When I used to work in England many years ago, I saw a very contrast picture of electoral outcomes were decided not by the younger population, by the old retired people. So every policy in England was favoring the retired elderly. Whereas India is still a young country. So it will not be, uh, it, it may not take many years for us to become, for the elderly retired people to decide the future of electoral outcome. And that is what defines the destiny of the country. So our idea is to bring 60 plus, all of them together and try to make their life better. And my expertise is only in healthcare and my colleagues are experts in other areas. So I am contributing in my own way how we can get better access to healthcare. Thanks to Insurance Regulatory Authority now, they have removed this age barrier. So any senior citizens can buy the health insurance. That is a very progressive step. Uh, thanks to Alex and his team for working very hard in this uh, policy uh, making decisions. Like this, there will be many more policies which will come. And it won't ca happen by itself. Somebody has to take the lead, somebody has to campaign, somebody has to create the pressure group. And that is the way democracy works. So this is the power of an organization called Vaya Vikas, and we are extremely grateful to 60,000 people who came forward and signed up for taking this organization next level. It is not about just few of us who started the organization. If the mission has to become a wave and transform the country, every senior citizen should become part of it. This is our wish, and I'm extremely grateful to all my colleagues, the board members, and wonderful team we have they are the ones who really brought the vibrancy. We meet once in a while and advise them, but they are the ones who are really doing the, uh, the, the work. And I'm extremely grateful to them for the innovation, the way they think about the real issues affecting the elderly, the solution what they come up with, truly remarkable. Congratulations. Good luck and God bless. Uh, so I think, first of all, thank you all for coming. And uh, I was just sitting here and thinking how it all started. So Chris, thank you because I think it's because of you that we are here. Devi and me were trying to uh, actually accept the organization more than 10 years ago. So only three years ago when we got this group, we were and of course the secretariat, uh, we were able to take uh, take it forward. Uh, Dr. Gani and me work in the healthcare industry along with the Devi's mentorship. And one thing we realized that when you go together, you, you have success. And I remember apologies to Ayan Prasad sir, I don't mean any offense, but when we first went to see changes to claim our money, 
the CEOs were made to wait for the club to the undersecretary for two hours before we were able to meet, giving our own money. But today we are able to actually talk to the health minister and the health secretary. So it's a power of getting together. And uh, I think the main objective, as David and Chris said, is we are hoping that in a year or two we will have two million people who can go to the government and they will listen to us. So I think we need everybody's uh, cooperation for it. Just a few things on what we have been doing. From the policy level, I think Devi has been very humble. If Devi was not in the HICC committee of the IRDA, the scattering would have never happened. There was a lot of opposition and we had to strategize. Yeah. Thank you, Joyce. Uh, and a very good morning to all of you youngsters here. Uh, I'm sure. So, so uh, uh, a very warm welcome to all the youngsters who are present here. Uh, you, you, you know, my, my, my colleagues after two Padma Bhushans, you know, uh, and, and Dr. LAX, it's very difficult to, uh, to really say what why Vikas is about. So let me try to say that uh, I think we are at the takeoff stage. Uh, 60,000 is the base that you needed to build. Uh, it, it required time and team and cheers to the team. They did a wonderful work. You know, when we started off, we started with wellness. Uh, because we have all these distinguished doctors here. Uh, so we started with wellness. So I said, you know, can't we have well-being and self-actualization? And these guys, uh, the gentlemen that they are, uh, conceded. Uh, and they said, okay, we'll include this. And what is so interesting is that, you know, uh, like uh, Alex said, offers buyers for us. I don't think and everybody relates with the elderly because you have a parent at home, you have somebody at home, and you know you're going to get there soon. <laughs> sooner rather later, <laughs> as Chris said. So I think this is a movement. We are not really, why Vikas is a movement. Why Vikas is not an organization. And all of you have to be, have to belong to that movement. You know, that we provide dignified life, productive life to the seniors. How do we do that? So why Vikas, I would say, and uh, my uh, colleagues are very, uh, very subdued in their statements, so I am the North Indian kind, you know, who would, who, would, who, would, who would tell you what they would be shy in saying. So we are very inspirational. Uh, the canvas is very big. You will understand that the clientele, our stakeholders are very diverse. They come from poor, uh, they come from affluent, they come from rural, they come from suburban. So I will take it from the, what Dr. Devi mentioned that we are young country. In fact, I was in uh, Singapore last week only, uh, where all Asian countries had come and they were, you know, trying to discuss their profile of uh, healthcare infrastructure. And I presented India's, uh, you know, kind of population and everything. And uh, data was that 50% of our population is below 35 years of age. You know. So we are definitely a young country and everybody actually was surprised, particularly Japan and South Korea. That is one. Second thing which we learned there was that in our country, where I represent the association of hospitals, we have almost more than 23,000 kind of hospitals in the country. We have 20 chapters across the country so that we are really everywhere. And uh, when actually I joined this uh, why because obviously you know the i found the novelty was that this is a technology driven you know movement because otherwise we can't move out, can't reach out to the kind of population and that is where the expertise well known crash came into picture another area is the healthcare you know the most important area is the healthcare beside economic security and other things and that is where dr devi's expertise dr alex expertise and i come as a person you know who represent the industry so we realize that, for example, Japan presented a case, they have got 10.2. First of all, I would like to extend my sincere compliments to this wonderful board to have actually conceived and come up with such a unique model of uh, you know, catering to the senior citizens of this country. And as uh, uh, Madam Gauri Kumar is saying, maybe at some point of time, even across the borders of the country. And I would like to equally compliment this whole team who's been working tirelessly to make these things happen on the ground and it's a fantastic, very heartwarming uh, uh, development and in the last three years they've done a lot of work. Actually, uh, though we have board members from all over the country, but I must say that I have never seen any, it is, I, I may be biased, but I've never seen any other city like Bangalore where we have such distinguished, uh, talented, 
<laughs> and wonderful people who have always thought of beyond their own careers and beyond their own personal life. I can't think of any other city which has as many people as in Bangalore who are doing in various sectors. Uh, apart from spending their money, they're spending their time, you know, and their, and their talent and doing a lot of things for the state, for the country, and it's a remarkable uh, thing and I would like to, you know, be compliment to all of them. And similarly, we have others from other places also who are doing such wonderful work and it's actually, it's unfortunate that many times the government is not able to utilize this kind of a support coming from the private. This is the third anniversary of Vaya Vikas and Thedidre. This is the organization. This organization is created for the senior retired people. 60 plus. In our country, there are 60 million people in our country. There are various issues. There are health care issues, legal issues, financial issues. There are the right kind of policies. अदर कागी ना वो इधर ना ऑर्गेनाइजेशन क्रिएट मार दी देवे डॉक्टर अंदर क्रिस गोपाल कृष्ण लीडरशिप पर ली ना वे लोग बोर्ड मेंबर्स हम तो उद्देश्य ने तेल दरे ये लल जनरी के यावा तंदरे इधर एल्डरली रिटायर्ड पीपल के यंत्र एडवाइस बेक इधर ना प्रोवाइड मारते हुए गाइड मारते हुए इधर हम उद्देश्� नम उद्देश्य ने तेरे इडी देश दो ये लल एल्डर ले इधर ले रजिस्टर मारी मेंबर साथ बैठ करता हेल्थ एस्पेक्ट के लिए नहीं सुधर सकते आई थिंक सिटीजन्स ही का पापुलेशन जस्ट जैक है दे नम दो या क्रिस आई थिंक यू शुड आंसर या गोल इज़ फॉर एवरी सीनियर सिटीजन टू बी एम्पावर्ड बाय बिकमिंग मेंबर uh, through our partners, uh, the products and services that they require, including on health. Uh, then we also uh, do advocacy. So, uh, Dr. Kirdar Gyani was talking about um, uh, the need for um, uh, you know special care for senior citizens, you know, geriatrics as a field of medicine, right? So we are advocating, we are creating standards for senior citizens' home. Uh, we are educating people about how to take care of elderly. So uh, not just providing a platform for services, but also uh, creating new knowledge, creating capacity, creating capability, creating the space for uh, uh, government uh, policies in this regard. So all of these, uh, you know, in one platform, uh, the power of the platform will be through the membership. So we hope that um, uh, every senior citizen would become a member of Vaya Vikas. Uh, at this point, it's uh, free of cost. Membership is free of cost. So that we want to actually reach a certain critical mass. And we set a goal of um, 20 lakh, 2 million people uh, to uh, join us in the first place. Why uh, because spend the three years old again the event in care now membership fees in the world a lot of seniors when do them association game member are both do number three to the partners with a plus members with a 60,000 members cross smart TV in large go welcome with a la chapters a la kade open mark that we said the kick or not the lead normally my sur matu my literally work in a chapters open my degree plus you are going next to the men are do for the game or tie the way इधर इंदा नम्मा बड़ा ये ना दे नेक्स्ट टू इयर्स अली ना वो इंडिया पान इंडिया इर्बे कौन था इल्ला सीनियर्स नम जो ते बनी जॉइन मारी ये ओकेशन ना ये प्रिविलेज ना मुंदे तो कौन डोगना थैंक यू विकास इस अ मूवमेंट फॉर द एल्डरली why because is a movement for the elderly, by the elderly and of the elderly. And we have 60,000 members at the moment, but we are very soon going to be 20 lakh members. And we work very closely with government. Uh, we collaborate with government by identifying what are the gaps in their offering. And we find the best champions in that area. And we put them together on a common platform so that the elderly have a seamless experience. Thank you. Uh, uh, Gauri has been instrumental uh, in helping us get an MOU with the Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment. And that is really helping us also connect better with the government and be able to scale up. Thank you. Thank you.